Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and happy new year! Oh my gosh, it's 2017 already. 2016 flew by so fast, but it needed to go. We need a fresh start. We need to just start all over again and just make it happen because I felt like 2016 was just like trash, like it needed to go. But anyways, today I'm bringing you this sparkly purple eye makeup look. I had posted it on my Snapchat story and one of my friends was like, you need to teach me how to do this tutorial. So this one is for you, girl, because you asked for it. This is the look that I came up with and I didn't want to do like a, like the traditional like gold or silver glitter. I wanted to do something very vibrant, very popping and purple is popping as you can see. And I think it looks really good on my skin tone. Now everything else on my face, I wanted to keep it nice and golden and glistening. And then for my lips, I wanted to keep it nude because I didn't want the lips to overpower and try and take over the spotlight of the eyes. So I kept my lips um, a more of a nudish color. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then please keep on watching. All right, so let's get started. Before I tackle this head of mine, I mean, look at this. Look at this hair. I'm going to work on my skin. So I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Oil and I'm using this as just a moisturizer for my skin. And then over top of that, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer just to eliminate any of those pores that I may have around my nose area. And now my skin is all set hair is tied up and ready to go and eyebrows I actually did those off camera <laughs> which you will see right here they are done and the look I'm doing today I'm actually recreating from a look I did a couple days ago so here we go I'm prepping my lids for a primer I'm gonna be using the NYX gotcha cover concealer and setting it with a translucent setting powder then to start with the crease color I'm using this blush yes blush not an eyeshadow a bright pink blush and I'm using this as a transition color for my crease color and as you can see I'm kind of winging it out on the ends because I really want that like winged out look with my eyeshadow then I'm gonna take this pinky color in this forever 21 eyeshadow palette and I'm blending that into my crease just to give it a little bit more definition and to make the pink color stand out a little bit more then taking this bright purple color which I found was just a little hard to blend out when I did it the first time but then I went in and I picked up more of the color and I found that it was a lot easier to blend as you can see right here the purple is showing up a lot better than it did when I first applied it so I'm just blending that into my crease and I'm using the MAC 217 blending eye brush because I feel like it just gets right into my crease and blends out the color so well Then I'm going to take this purple eyeshadow. It's by the brand called Cherimoya. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. It's new to me. But I am taking this and putting this all over my lid because it's going to serve as a base for the glitter pigment that I'm going to be applying. This color is actually very pretty. It has a little bit of a opal color in it which I find to be so gorgeous. And when I was applying this eyeshadow I thought wow I could really pull off just this eyeshadow by itself without any glitter and if you guys aren't into wearing glitter you could definitely wear the eyeshadow just like this but you know me I gotta be extra and I gotta go for that glitter so I'm using this NYX face and body glitter and it's called rose and I'm actually using eyelash glue to um, apply it to my lids as an adhesive just because I feel like the eyelash glue makes the glitter stick so well So here's a clearer shot of how I did it. So I applied the eyelash glue first and I found that I had to work really fast with this because it dried so fast. 
but I put the glue down first and then I took a separate brush and dipped it in the glitter and then packed it onto my lids. And you want to be careful to where you put the glue because wherever you put the glue, the glitter is going to stick to it. So that's why I use a very tiny detailed brush, as you can see right here. And this is one of the reasons why I did my eyeshadow first because as you can see, glitter, it gets everywhere. So I have so much fallout on my face so I had to dust that away before I applied my foundation. For foundation, I'm mixing two different ones together. One is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade W8 which I haven't worn in such a long time. It's been years since I put this foundation on. And then the other one which is the darker color that you see right here, it's by Clinique and I believe it's called Silk Cocoa. And as you can see, these foundations mix together so perfectly. And here is the key to your foundation. Blending it down your neck. Ladies, it is 2017. You need to start blending your foundation down your jawline and your neck if you really want that flawless look. Because who wants a harsh, drastic line on their jawline making it seem like your face is darker than your, your neck and the rest of your body? Like, no, we're over that. Okay, back to the video. So for concealer, I'm using the same concealer that I used as my eyelid primer, and I'm going to run that right along the edge of my eyes to clean up the eyeshadow a bit. So I'm putting it under my eyes, right where my cupid's bow is, my chin, my forehead, and down the bridge of my nose, and I'm also putting it underneath of where my contour is going to be. It's really gonna sharpen up the contour. Then I'm just going to blend that out with my beauty blender, which I just got. I finally got a new beauty blender, you guys. Remember the other one was ripped? Yeah, that one's got to go. RIP to that one. Alright, so I'm just going to blend everything out. And then I'm going to set the... Um, concealer with this elf high definition powder which I found to be really good I had this powder for a couple years now and when I first started using it I always thought that it gave me the worst flashback but then I realized I was applying it wrong like I had no idea what baking was but since I know how to bake now this powder is actually really good and it's so inexpensive. I think it's about six bucks, which is not bad for a setting powder. To set the rest of my face, I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me foundation and just setting all the areas that I did not apply concealer. And then I realized that I didn't apply cream contour. I was so upset with myself, but it's okay. I fixed that problem later. So I'm going to let that powder sit for a little bit and then dust it away with this small detailed brush by Real Techniques. Onto eyeliner. I ended up just doing the wing first for both of my eyes and then I made sure that they were both even before I continued on with drawing the actual line across my lash line. So as you can see I'm kind of straightening it out making sure everything is good. If not, then I kind of fix things and perfect things just to make sure everything looks good and is even. Then I'm just going to coat my la- I was going to say coat my mascara. Wow! <laughs> I'm going to coat my lashes with mascara and prep them for the falsies that I'm wearing right here. And these are the Ardell Demi Wispies. These are my favorite lashes of all time because they're so inexpensive and they're so natural looking. They're amazing. Then I'm just going to clean up my crease and kind of dust away any of that excess glitter that might have fallen upward. Yeah, fallen upward. Exactly, that makes sense. Um, and then just hide the lash band with some more um, eyeliner and then an extra coat of mascara to blend my lashes with the falsies. Then I'm just going to line my lower lash line with this black eyeliner from NYX and then take that same um, pink shade that I used in my crease and running that along my lower lash line. 
Once I'm done that, I'm just going to line my lash line again with the same eyeliner and then coat it with um, one to two coats of mascara, not too much. Onto contouring, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm mixing these two shades together just to give me that perfect contour color. And I realized that I didn't even need to cream contour because of when I applied the concealer under my contour line, it kind of sharpened it up on its own, so I didn't even need it. And then another product I've been loving lately is this MAC um, Skin Finish. It's in the shade Cheeky Bronze. Wow, I never realized how amazing this stuff is. It's, it's almost like a blush, highlighter, and bronzer all in one. So I kind of just blended that into my contour and along my cheekbones. On to highlighting. I'm mixing these two shades together from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and highlighting my cheekbones because what's a good look without highlighter? So not only am I dusting it along my cheekbones, but I'm also dusting my cupid spell and chin. And did you really think I was gonna stop there? Of course I had to apply another highlighter. My favorite of all time is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl in Gilded Honey. And I am dusting that right along my cheekbones just to give me that extra glow. I'm also gonna apply a little bit of highlighter right on my brow bone just to give my eyes an extra pop. Onto my lips, I'm going to be using this lip liner by NYX and it's called Dark Brown and I'm just going to line my top and bottom lip and for my top lip, I'm going to slightly overline it just a little bit, not too much, I'm not going crazy today. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use the NYX um, Liquid Suede and it's called Sandstorm. So I'm going to rub that together and look how well it blends into the lip liner. Then right in the center of my lips, I'm going to dab a little bit of the ColourPop uh, lip gloss in the color WeHo. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and watching me get glam for no reason, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come. All right, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And make sure you hit that little bell that's next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I post a video here on YouTube. We're almost at 500 subscribers, so make sure you share this page with your friends and let them know that we've got lots of makeup vids coming, okay? And then make sure you watch my last video so that you are updated on what's been going on with me and my YouTube channel, my life, all that, if you want to know what's going on, make sure you watch that video. I will leave a link to that in the description box. And I won't see you, but you will see me in my next video, so stay tuned. Bye!